Jin Liao is the newest five star that we're getting in the 1.2 half of Wuthering Waves. He's also going to be a free five star that if you have 6,000 points in the popularity event that's currently going on inside the game, you can claim him for free if you have 6,000 points inside of that popularity event. I'm going to be taking a look at how to build him, his best weapons, some easy rotations, and some advanced rotations with him as well. First, we are going to be looking at what builds you can use on him, what echo sets you'll want to farm for him, and what stats you should be going for, substats and main stats on Jing Liao. I think that Lingering Tunes and Boy Thunder are the two best sets for him. A Lingering Tunes being a bit easier to play because it doesn't require you to do any heavy attacks and stuff like that inside his rotation to get the two stacks up for the electro damage bonus. You just need to keep him on the field and do damage and you will get a buff to your outro skill as well as your attack, as well as another attack buff once you use the Mech Abomination Echo skill. With the Void Thunder set, you can use either Thundering Memphis or Tempest Memphis, Tempest Memphis being easier to play, but Thundering Memphis um, giving you a Resonance Liberation and Electro Damage bonus if you're able to get the full six hits off, as well as generating quite a bit of energy if you need to just get some quick energy before going into your Resonance Liberation while the enemy is down. You can just do a few hits of Thundering Memphis and then go ahead and use your Resonance Liberation. Now, as for substats, I went for crit damage, crit rate, and attack. He is a crit-based DPS, and these stats scale very well on crit-based DPSs. After those three substats there, I focused on Resonance Liberation damage as well as Energy Regen. I didn't, wasn't able to get them on all of my Echoes, but those are basically what you're going to be wanting to focus on. Energy Regen because he does stay up, he wants to be in Resonance Liberation as much as possible, and the more Energy Regen you have, the better. If you're able to get about a 70% crit rate and about 230% crit damage and able to get about 130% energy regen, your game Liao should be cooking. Now, when it comes to his skills, you'll want it to, be, to be focusing on his Forte Circuit and Residence Liberation, but Residence Liberation first because that is what gives him the biggest burst and then Forte Circuit after. Once you're able to max these out to as high as you're able to take them, I would say then take your normal attack, resonance skill, and intro skill to level 6. And then from there, go ahead and max out the Forte Circuit Resonance Liberation to 10. And then work on the normal attack, resonance skill, and intro skill after. Uh, I would also just recommend that you focus the crit damage nodes in the tree and then the attack nodes after you get his two signature nodes in the middle. As for weapons with Zheng Liao, we're going to be looking at uh, four weapons here for Gauntlet users. We have his signature weapon, Very Candle, which is going to be his best weapon. Then we have Fist Surges, which is probably going to be the second best. Sonard, which will be the third best. And then Hollow Mirage, which will be the fourth best. Hollow Mirage will be a little hard to play because you want to not get hit to keep up the buff. Uh, Fist Surges is pretty easy to play, as well as Stonard will be pretty easy to play as well. And Verity's handle will give you the biggest DPS increase. Jin Liao's rotation is relatively simple. What you'll want to be doing is mixing in basic attacks and skill whenever your skill is available to build out your forte gauge. Once your forte gauge is full, you will get an enhanced version of your skill that you can follow up with after by pressing attack button after you're doing this skill. Uh, depending on the set that you're using, the rotation can change a little bit. If you're using Thunder, uh, Void Thunder, you'll want to do a heavy attack and retina skill to get the, oh, the full electro damage bonus from the set. So in my opinion, you can do something like canceling or animation canceling this stomp here on the heavy attack. So it still does count as a heavy attack. But what you'll want to do is animation cancel the stomp with the skill. And then that way you can get the bonus from the Void Thunder set without necessarily doing the full heavy attack. A little something like that into the skill and then from there you'll have the full bonus of the void thunder effect so again for one more time you'll do the basic attack cancel at the stomp go into your skill after the stomp and then go into the enhanced skill and that will be the rotation for the void thunder in my opinion now for the lingering tune set which is what i uh, like to use on him myself just because he does work very well on field his Ultimate duration is about 24 seconds, so he does have quite a bit of time to get his ultimate out. Whereas Carl Charo doesn't have that, that kind of leisure, which is why quick swap on him is just so much easier. When his ling if you're using lingering tune set, you're free to just do the basic um basic attacks. 
into the enhanced pet into the enhanced skill and then skill into basic attacks into the enhanced skill no need to necessarily do the heavy because as long as Zeng Liao is on the field you will get that buff in the lingering tune set which just makes him a little bit uh, more comfortable to play you don't necessarily need to do the uh, animation cancel with the heavy attack but you will lose out on a little bit of damage but not too much damage depending on how you're playing of course now for the ultimate rotation when he goes into the ultimate form he does actually put the enemies in like a stasis field which slows them down for a bit there's two ways to build up his forte gauge you can do the same basic attack chain just build up his forte gauge into the enhanced skill the enhanced skill also puts the enemy in some in a little bit of a stasis effect as well you can then do the skill into basic attack into the enhanced skill and then again finish off with the basic attack chain now that way is a lot easier and a lot more fluid to do uh, especially if you have to dodge the enemy and stuff like that you can still get your full uh, three hyper cubes off before the 24 seconds is up if you're just doing the basic attack without doing the skill chain while inside the ultimate form you may not be able to get all three hyper cubes off so um play at your own risk i guess but that is the basic rotations for zeng liao to go over it one more time for void thunder you'll want to just cancel the heavy attack into skill that way you get the full two stacks of the electro damage bonus and for lingering tunes you're free to just do three basic attacks into the enhanced skill when it's available and then for the ultimate what you'll want to do is you'll want to do the basic attacks into skill into basic attack basic attack follow up after skill and then into the basic attack chain after as for teams with Zheng Liao you have quite a bit of options depending on your account if you have Yin Lin that is the signature tag team partner that I would recommend with him something like Zheng Liao Yin Lin Verena or Baija if you don't want to use or you just don't have Yin Lin you can do Zheng Liao uh, Spectral MC Jian Xin that would work very very well you can use spectral mc to buff Zheng liao and also use Zhang shin to buff Zheng liao as well as well as run Jian shin on the healer set to give you the extra 15 percent damage plus as well and Jian shin can rotate between buffing the mc and buffing Zheng liao that team can work very well as well and that team will also work with baija or varina so Zheng liao mc baija varina works as well Overall, Zheng Liao is an extremely good DPS. I think he is definitely power creeping Kao Charo for sure uh, from a damage perspective. However, I do think that Kao Charo is still a very good character and can still clear everything in the game. However, Zheng Liao's kit just leans a lot more into ease of use, making him feel a lot more forgiving and a lot more fluid to play than Kao Charo. Let me know if you guys agree in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video or if this video helped you with building your Zheng Liao, definitely drop me a like or a sub. It helps tremendously with a smaller creator like myself more than you guys would know. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Please be safe and peace out.